guys, it's me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and today I'm joined by... Sam. Who are you? Her husband. Okay. <laughs> so, the day you're watching this, August 14th, is actually Sam's birthday. We're filming it a little early, but happy birthday. Thank you. So, I thought it would be my new and unique thing to do today would be to show Sam's coloring book collection and flip through uh, pages he has done. Um, obviously he's been doing the split coloring with me. I'm not going to show you those because that would take a long time and I consider those my books that he just shares with me. But he has his own little stack going here. So I'm going to put them on screen and I think he'll do some talking. We'll see. Ready? Go. This is Rick and Morty. Great cartoon. Thanks for watching if you don't. <laughs> so we found this. I think I found this. At the bookstore in Atlanta. Right? Yeah. We think in Atlanta at the bookstore, but if that's true, wasn't that a long time ago? Yeah. Should have been out for a while. I don't know. So he's only done, like, a page in here. What are these guys? These are Mr. Meeseeks. Mr. Meeseeks helps you do things. Hmm. So. I struggle with skin color. <laughs> Okay, so this was probably a very early book, and then he, like, started that page. Also, I think you can tell from page to page the level of effort he puts in. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe you better be able to tell. So that is book one. Next up is DC Comic Art Coloring. We ended up finding this for clearance at Barnes & Noble. It was probably like four dollars so that was just the right price for big kids only so had to get it is that you yeah but again he's only done one page in here this is a pretty cool one what'd you do wow i don't know this is so fancy for me <laughs> i must have taken one of your like glitter pens and like put a glitter stripe over superman and crypto i think it was a, a metallic paint hmm. and then i tried to splash the blue yeah. And then even the background has some splashes in it. I don't know. Weird. It's been a while. Yeah. He doesn't date his pages. So this has a lot of, like, covers of different comics. And again, that is the only page he's done in here. You better get back to coloring with me. I don't know. I think I, I did about $4 worth of coloring from that book. So. One page? I don't think so. I don't think so. Next up, this book I actually found in the Dollar Tree. So this was a pretty good find because this is a pretty nice quality book. Let's see what it says it's worth. It says it's worth a $12.99. So I thought that was good. But Sam loves the wave picture specifically. Like that's your favorite piece of art? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, it's on everything. So if there's something I'm getting that has artwork on it, there's usually a version of it with that wave thing. Mm-hmm. Like his uh, Kindle cover I got him has the wave on it. And Jam. Jam. Oh boy. Sam is, is partially Japanese. Yes. So he's always liked Japanese stuff. But he's done two in here. This book has like the original Japanese artwork on one side and then the blank on the other. So he did this one. Which do we know what this is? Tarot Moon. He very much went his own way with that, right? Do you remember doing this? Well, I tried to copy the basic pattern, but with different colors. So you notice that, like, the umbrella is still that three stripe color, you know? I mean, I think those lines were there for you, though. Yeah, but I could have just colored it however I wanted. Sure, sure, sure. So I like his red hair. <laughs> very authentic. Both of them. Yeah, so that's the one. And then also Samurai on horseback. I tried blending this. I think the horse came out really nicely. And I'm not too mad about the background. And then I got mad about everything else. And it is what it is. Hmm. So I think it's pretty good. I like the trees. And then this next one, I feel like I might end up stealing or at least keeping near my collection. And then when you feel the urge to color, you can <laughs> do that. What's this one? Darth Vader and family. Did I just get you this as a gift? Yeah. I sometimes uh, force my coloring hobby upon him. 
but he's done a few in here more than I thought so let's see so this is actually like a comic strip right and then it's just like I mean it's kind of a comic style where each picture is like a setting story kind of I don't know like I know I think that this is an actual comic strip and then they just took some and uncolored them oh maybe web comic maybe does it say on there best-selling series hmm. so who knows maybe it was just regular like coffee table books maybe so what was your idea here um first i started coloring things the way they're supposed to be and then i colored his boots pink for no reason and then i gave up this one's good yeah so this one you know see the ground i have some different colors put in some shadows you know, gave a nice silvery blue background skyline. Did some gradient in the Sarlacc pit in the middle of things. It's about to eat that one dude. It looks like you used pencils and markers, like mixed media. Oh, yes. That way I can get the shading mm -hmm. without overpowering the color that I already put on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just... <laughs> Not much is done there, but I posted it or index carded it anyway. So, I think these were probably scented markers. They look like they were scented markers. I think you did this so that I can't do that page later now. <laughs> I'm sad. Perfect. Yeah, this one I think I also did both colored pencil and marker. I think the yeah, that's string lines pencil. are all marker and the, all the rest of the colors are colored pencil. I have a feeling, again, that this was the... Um, scented set and I probably just gave him like the set of 12 or whatever so he had to improvise when he needed other colors yeah but I really like this like it's a I like this book a lot Perfect. And then... there's young Luke reaching for some cookies using the force you see the little squiggly lines as it's moving his father in the background I guess did you add those when they were there I don't know. I assume that they were there. They seem too even. Yeah, they were me. very even. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess it gave some highlights to Loop. Were you testing skin tones on it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, pretty good, pretty good. But this is a fun book in general. Like, if you're a Star Wars fan, maybe look into that for yourself. Oh, look, you can learn how to draw him. Hmm. Huh. Huh. And then his final book is actually the first coloring book he ever got. And I feel like this was like the first series a lot of us got. These art therapy books. And also uh, Noodles, Puppy Noodles ate the corner of it. Because we used to have it on a bookshelf on the bottom shelf. So that's fun. So this is Star Wars 100 Images to Inspire. I assume I also just got you this one back when it came out. Yeah, I think so. So, he's done a ton in here, though. Look at all those post-its. Why do I keep calling them post-its? I don't know. Index no. cards. That's a droid commander. Filled that in myself. This is very floral, and I think I ended up using a lot of orange for no reason. But I liked how I gradiented his head to his body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sam experiments a lot in this book, because there's so many pages, I think. Yeah. And I just think that Sam, whenever he sees it, is just like, I'm just going to do something different this time. Yeah. So. Let's see. Love this day here. It's like a mandala E one. I hate mandala one. Ouch. Look at him. He's lovely. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, or what is that? A droid. Just a generic droid? Yeah. There's a name to it, but it's just a generic Yeah, I still suck using a lot of orange in this book. Yeah, I don't know why. Me neither. Gave like, a nice little, like, pink, orange, white stormtrooper armor. Did you draw that in entirely, or you traced it? No, I drew that in entirely. That's why it's off-center. Well, I just thought you could have traced it poorly. Oh, wow. <laughs> but that's definitely a metallic gel pen. Luke is his favorite character. Oh, oh we dated one! See, this was, uh... Ooh, almost three years ago of the day. That's pretty cool. That's funny. These are my favorite characters. 
I only like C-3PO, R2-D2, and my guy BB-8. Yeah. Yeah, you do. So, another mandala E one More orange. More orange, yeah. This one also exists. You definitely did a lot of blending in there. Yeah, even like around on Solo inside of the thing, it looks like I added black and gravy to Oh, in there. Yeah, I blended that to white. It's pretty good. No orange. It needs orange. Oh. <laughs> went really hard. This says R2. What? I see it in blue. I don't know if you're going to see it on camera. Or it'll be easier on camera, but I see it. Cool. I didn't know. Oh, wow. Super orange. Yeah, this one I, you know, this is when he, I think, gets his face melted off and stuff. So, it's very hot. I added, I think, some of those black lines myself. Yeah, all the black lines inside of the fire, I think I added. Up there? Oh, like a lot of them. Oh, these ones, okay. Yeah, like half the black lines inside of there. And then I made his lightsaber into one of those popsicles. <laughs> did I miss one or did I? Oh, I missed one, that's weird. I blended the lightsaber real hard. <laughs> and um, the black and the blue I tried to blend together. I don't know. I feel like the black almost looks sketchy on this. It's like there's like, oh, I was going to say there's like red here and blue here, but I think the red is just from blending the lightsaber so hard. Well, I was trying to make it like glow red. Mm -mm. It didn't work, so I stopped. Why did we only date one of them? You made me. Yeah, only once? Look, more orange. More orange. <laughs> this is one of the dudes that plays music in the cantina. Uh, he's got no name, probably. I'm sure they, yeah, I was going to say. Ooh, two. More orange on both sides. Oh my gosh. That's paint. That's watercolor paint. Wow. Weird choices. And then on the right side, it's sunflowers with a little rebel sign behind them, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of weird composition that some of these pages. Like, why are there flowers all over? Yeah, the whole thing's flowers. <gasps> my guy. Ooh. This one, I think, my idea was to just use every color I had. Yay. Yeah, you do that too? Yeah. I thought it worked out pretty well for this. Gave kind of a stained glass look. Hmm. And then I think this is the last one. I know. There's like no orange in here because she's a little pink. Yeah. I gave her little purple highlights to give her kind of definition. A lot of comic stuff uses purple instead of black sometimes. And purple's our favorite color. Yeah, so it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, her belt is orange. I'm sorry. I mean, that's yellow. Mm -hmm. I think it's yellow. So, do you have any plans on coloring some more soon? Maybe. Do you need any more books? No. You sure? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so that is Sam's collection. And again, most of these were probably purchased in 2017, 2018. So, yeah. but now we, we split color together, so that's pretty good. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Happy birthday again, sir. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. We'll see what else I think up that you can come back again. Great. But, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't. That's the end of the video. If you made it this far, C3PO, please. That's my guy. We're both very nervous, very nervous. So, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in two days, and bye.